Hockey 101, sponsored by Seatown Electric. Uh, could you tell them, for example, uh, what is icing? Well, um, icing happens when uh, the puck comes down, bang, you know, before the other guys, mm -hmm. nobody there, you know. Mm -hmm. My arm go comes out, then uh, the game stopped and start up. <laughs> I see. <laughs> yeah, we saw quite a few icing calls as the Kraken fell 3-1 to one to the Sharks in San Jose last night. And this morning, we continue our Hockey 101 series explaining a basic rule that can be confusing. So, again, what is icing? That red line at center ice, that's the key to this one. If an offensive player shoots the puck anywhere beyond that red line into what they call the attacking zone and the puck crosses the goal line without being touched by another player. Icing is called. That's icing. So on an icing, the back linesman will put his or her hand up signifying that there's an icing or a potential of an icing. The front linesman is the one that's going to be skating saying that if the icing is happening or not, and if it does occur, they'll do this, whistle, and if it's not, they'll wash it out again. Here's an example of when the linesman will wave it off. If an offensive player beats the defense to the face-off circle in the attacking zone, icing will be washed out and play continues. That'll be icing. No, it's waved off as Stone's able to get there first. Now, another time icing won't be called is when your team is on the penalty kill. But, but see, we're getting ahead of ourselves. We'll get into penalties, power plays, penalty killing as Hockey 101 continues. You can find the entire series, by the way, on our website, fox13seattle.com.